get ready to cheer on the unstoppable women of track and field. This weekend was a powerhouse of athletic excellence with events like the Merrill's Games and the New Mexico Invitational. And shout out to Travis Miller over on Twitter for posting some of these incredible highlights. So make sure you guys check him out. While I can't cover every moment, I have got you covered with highlights from some of your favorite professional and college athletes on this channel, as well as myself. Join me as I showcase the best in women's track and field and keep an eye out as I unwrap some of these events in greater detail in the coming week. We witnessed history in the making with Femka Ball as she blew the competition away with her record-breaking performance in the 500 meters. This unstoppable athlete traveled over 3,000 miles just to shatter the previous world record held by Olsia Forshiva of Russia back in 2006. And that made Ball's travel much worth it. With a new record of 1 minute 5 seconds, it's no surprise that Ball is the one to watch this season again. And let's not forget about the talented hurdler Genevieve Russell from Jamaica, who was also a notable runner in this competition. Leah Anderson also accompanied her team at Russell, coming in second place, and Lysiane DeWitt accompanied Ball, coming in fourth place. These pairs definitely stuck together. And at New Balance, we witnessed the ultimate showdown in the women's 60-meter dash. Prior to this race, most people were talking about Sharika Jackson versus Sydney McLaughlin, but they completely slept on the rest of the talents. Aaliyah Hobbs clocked in a blazing fast sub-7 last week, and Makia Briscoe, Kayla White, Celera Barnes, Kyra Parker, Candice Hill, and Melissa Jefferson are no slouches either. Trust me, this race was electric with Hobbs running an amazing time of 7.08. But wait and hold the phone because not too far from New Balance, New York, Tamari Davis ran a 7.07 in South Carolina, and I think she is just getting started. This young talent is heating up, and a lot of folks can't wait to see what's in store. But a race that was literally dominated by one specific talent in the New Balance competition was Gabby Thomas, who finished the 300 meters with a time of 36.31. That would rank top 17 in the world. Anna Kilbasinski of Poland was a few steps behind. Lina Irby and Jenna Prandini finished third and fourth place respectively. It was definitely great to see Thomas in great shape coming into the season. Last year, she took a step back early during the outdoor season. And for Prandini, it was not the best time for her in the 300 meters as she just recently began training under Bob Kersey. The last 300 meters she ran was back in 2021 with a time of 36.68 at the American Track League. Now, keep in mind, it is still early in the season. For most of these athletes, it's your first appearance of the year. If we remove the last 100 meters of this race, Prandini had a time of 11.78, positioning her at second place and a time of 23.40, a hundredth of a second behind Irby, who would have come in second place. One literally uses those last 100 meters of the 300 to build strength and endurance going into the outdoor season. I think all of these athletes, including Gabby, still have a long way to go. So I won't be surprised to see stronger times going into the rest of this season outside of injuries. Also, at the New Balance Invitational, the 800 meter showdown took place between AJ Wilson coming in first place with a time of 2 minutes, and Kayla Edwards coming in second place with a time of 2 minutes and 1 second achieving her personal best. Wilson is no stranger to track and field and will most likely continue her journey into the championships, and she has not lost this indoor race since 2018, which stands to be extremely remarkable. Now, outside of New Balance, the college women did not disappoint. Julian Alfred smashed the NCAA women's 60-meter record for the second time this season. 
storming to a personal best and a national record of seven seconds, while Samara Moody ran an impressive time of 719 to place second and favor Philly placed third with a time of 721. In comparison to professional athletes like Aaliyah Hobbs and Tamari Davis, these times look absolutely amazing. However, both Julian Alfred and Favor Philly were not done in New Mexico. They ran a 2255 and 2256 respectively in the 200 meters. And notable runner Kennedy Simon has not been disappointing this season as she came in third place with a time of 2281. Simon, like Talifa Diggs, comes with impressive range as we saw here, making the coming indoor championships look very interesting again. And keep in mind, back in December, Kennedy Simon crossed the 500 meters with a time of 1 minute, 8.59 seconds for the season, which ranks her at second overall in the NCAA all-time list. Now, other notables in New Mexico included eight ladies that ran a sub-53, with the most impressive being Ella Onuivo, a freshman at LSU, who finished with a time of 52.61. These ladies are not too far from knocking down a 51.50, making the 400 meters something you don't always see with this incredible type of death. The ladies included Jones of USC, Lair of USC, Ochirugu of Great Britain, Arnold of Texas A&M, Oliveira of Miami, Mollard of USC, and Jones of Texas A&M. And last but not least, I do want to mention that New Balance professional star Heather McLean has started her season with a mile record for the year of 4 minutes 23.42 seconds. This is also her personal best. And it does seem that New Balance has some incredible milers. However, another notable miler is Caitlin Tui, who recently ran the mile with a time of 4 minutes 24.26 seconds, setting an NCAA record. Tui also signed an NIL deal with Adidas this past year. Let's just say that things are looking bright this year for New Balance, Adidas, and these athletes. Now, special note about Sydney's appearance in the 60 meters and that no one seriously expected her to win. She finished ninth overall with a time of 7.33. What this race signals is that her journey as a sprinter has begun as she starts to embrace the 400 meter flat. Her reaction time was not bad, but can improve. Overall, for Sydney to compete in the 400 meters while using the 60 meters to train is a very big nothing burger in my opinion. We know that the lady has incredible and superhuman endurance, so for me to waste our time analyzing a hundredth of a second in reaction times does not make any sense. She did terrific at this 60 meter event. I think more interesting events that might show up in the near future for her would be the one, two, and 300 meters. But let me know your thoughts. Let me stop talking here and let's hear what Sydney has to say. This clip is courtesy of Flow Track. Make sure you guys, if you like track and field, check them out because they really have some pretty dope stuff. All right, Sydney, dropping down to the 60, getting some speed work in. How do we feel? I feel good. Um, it's a nice break up from training, you know, just being able to come out and sprint a little bit. Um, cool facility, cool meet, just happy to be here. What's been the plan, I guess, with Bobby this early on with uh, training, especially because he's floated some ideas. You haven't run a couple more 400s this yeah. year, 400 hurdles up, obviously the focus, but early on, how are things going? Honestly, everything's still kind of on the table. I think after last year, we saw that there's still more to be done in 400 hurdles, and right now we're just training through it like we would a normal season, and as we go, we'll refine and break down and figure out what it is we really want to do. So. Yesterday, we saw your uh, This Is Sports Center ad come on out. Uh, yeah. How many takes did that take to go through? And uh, yeah, what were the, the thoughts? Uh, behind a lot the of takes. Hey, Sydney. Do you have a minute to catch up today? Yeah, I've got uh, 51.46 seconds right after lunch. Or I've got 51.41 seconds later this afternoon. Oh, wait. I have 50.68 seconds right now. It wasn't that important anyway. All right. See you later. 
a lot of takes. My acting skills weren't on par, so it took about 50. Um, but they got the right one. I thought it was a great idea and just cool to kind of have track and field in that realm of other sports in the U.S., which don't get, we don't get enough shine. So it was cool to be able to do that. Did you have a time goal in mind today? No, never ran this before. I have no idea. I just wanted to go out there, uh, compete healthy, finish strong, and honestly just work on that reaction time, getting out of the blocks. And obviously those girls are really fast. So it was just cool to be able to run with them. And looking towards Budapest, what do you think about a four and four hurdles double? Uh, Bobby, Bobby knows. I have no clue. I just show up every day and do what I'm told. So. Would you want it? I think I think it'd be an awesome opportunity, um, but I don't know if it's what we're planning to do or anything like that. So anything's on the table at this point. Uh, this season, I think Mo she joined uh, the training group with Bobby Cousy. Yeah. Do you work out with her very often? So funny. She was asking me this the other day. She was like, the media asks me this all the time. Um, we train around the same time, but we, we haven't done many workouts together, no. I think Bobby's keeping us separate in our respective spaces. Um, there will be times down the line as the season progresses that we'll probably be together, but right now he just kind of has 800 where I'm at, and then if we come together, we come together. Yeah. This was your first race since uh, Hungary last summer. You yeah. didn't run any diamond leagues after that. Um, just a long season. You know, we kind of just wanted to shut it down. I hadn't gone on my honeymoon. That was a big part of it. I just was like, I want the season to be done so I can. That concludes the segment as it's time to go. I could not cover everything, and more than likely, I missed some spectacular performances. So let me know in the comment section who your favorite athletes were. And I will have a separate channel for the men, so look out for it in the near future. Have a great day. So if you liked this video, then check out the videos right above or visit our short clip playlist. Have a great day.